Hello, this is Terry Newman, and this is the Spark for the Heart. Today, again, we are in a cemetery here in Palarm, and uh, as I think about and look at the daily news, and I think every one of us get a daily news feed from somewhere. I get the Jerusalem Post and several different news feeds, and uh, every day I am reminded how close we are to the coming of the Lord. Every day I'm reminded of that. And uh, my Bible tells me in the book of Thessalonians that one day there's going to be uh, a descending from heaven with a shout, the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ will arise first. Not everybody in this grave will arise when the trumpet sounds. Only those who, when they met their uh, time of death in life, will be raptured or will be uh, vacated from their grave. Uh, we're reminded after Jesus had uh, arisen from the grave, the end of Matthew says that many of the graves were open as he actually vacated uh, paradise and took those into heaven. Now Paul says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I want to remind you today as you look around you and you hear the the news, the Supreme Court's uh, decision today, everything just reminds us so vividly that we are living on the, the very prefaces of time and knowing that Jesus Christ is soon to return. My question to you today is this, if he comes today, would you be ready? I want to ask you right now, if you are not ready and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, uh, that you would bow your hearts and you would pray with me and ask him into your heart and uh, make sure that uh, if Jesus comes today, you'll be ready to go. And I want you just to bow your head and uh, we're going to pray right now that God will just touch you. If you're not ready to meet the Lord, you repeat this prayer with me and Jesus will save you. And you've got a place in eternity with him. Bow your hearts. Dear Jesus, come into my life. Make me a new creature in Christ Jesus. Forgive me of my sins and wash me in your blood. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior in Jesus' name. If you prayed that prayer, the Bible says that there's a new name, your name, that's written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. What a glorious day. God bless you. We love you. And uh, God bless you.